Hello and welcome to Rocket Boom. It seems as though there is a historical moment upon us. The anticipation building up over the unprecedented amount of incoming data about planet Mars finally led to the confirmation of actual water again last Wednesday. But now we've heard that a more recent conclusion, considered to be of even greater human interest, has led the University of Arizona and NASA to the White House to brief the President on the new discovery, and that currently the White House has decided not to release the information to the public because they need to consider the implications. What is this new discovery really that we're not being told about? They said they dug two inches into the soil, found ice and have confirmed evidence of ice water even after using the thermal and evolved gas analyzer, which I just love. But did they also find remnants of past life forms frozen in the ice? A Montak monster even? Or just the potential for life? So why all the secrecy? Ian O'Neill from Universe Today writes, The Jet Propulsion Laboratory Science Team for the Mecha Wet Chemistry Instrument that made these undisclosed findings were kept out of the July 31st news conference, confirming water, so additional analysis could be carried out, avoiding any questions that may have revealed their preliminary results. They have also made the decision to discuss the results with the Bush administration's Presidential Science Advisor's Office before a press conference between mid-August and early September. Yeah, so why all the secrecy? O'Neill went on to say, This secretive news will in no way indicate the existence of life, past or present, on Mars. Phoenix simply is not equipped to make this discovery. Yet this information appears to conflict with an article written in Aviation last week that says that the module is equipped to make that kind of a discovery. Craig Kovold writes, Before lunch, I mean launch, some website literature by the TEGA team indicated it possibly could find organic evidence of past life. Both Boynton and Peter Smith, who heads the mission now, say this is not the case. Although TEGA organic lettuce, I mean data, could start major new arguments about life. It has yet to find organics, but still has several sample ovens available to make such a discovery. Okay, well, I'm no scientist, but understanding the simple enough concept of soil water and the sun, it's hard not to imagine little things running around inside the water that might be kind of lifelike. Full disclosure, that image isn't real. It was photoshopped here at the Rocket Boom studio to help illustrate the reality of the possibilities at hand. Here is another expert detail. We've pictured exactly this before. If they did find evidence of past life, it would totally throw a lot of people in the world for a major loop, and at some point things could even spiral out of control. For others like myself, I want to believe. Seriously though, even if the news is a couple of days old, and even as the astronauts are blogging and commenting about this stuff, and even while the mass media is laying low and out of sight, what I think the noughts are saying is that the potential for life on Mars may be more real than ever before. We'll keep you updated as the story evolves. I'm Joanne, and this is Rocket Boom.